Navigation is the most important part of a smartphone. With Napstar module, you can customize the navigation bar to a whole new level. Hey everyone, this is Sherry and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we will be looking at an in-depth customization of navigation on Galaxy devices. You will need good log or nice log if you're not in the respective countries where good log is available. Okay, let's open up Napstar. At the bottom, we can see that we have settings for both buttons and swipe gestures. We will start with the button. Let's turn that on. I have just a navigation enabled, so it's asking me to change it to button navigation. Let's do that first. Now turn Napstar on. First, we can see the list of predefined configurations for buttons. We can select any one of it, but that's just not it. If we tap on new configuration, we can do a lot more than that in this tab. On top, we have the preview of the default buttons of navigation bar. We can set the transparency of buttons and under that, we can also set adaptive color so that it will change color according to the wallpaper or background colors. Okay, now let's tap on recent button and here we have a list of different icons to select from. The fun part is we can design our own icons and use them here as well. If we tap on gallery icon, it will take us to the gallery and from there we can select our own design. After gallery icon, we have another icon which is for stickers. Tap on that and here we have a collection of stickers. We can also download new stickers. Just tap on the galaxy store icon in the bottom right list and we can download from a huge collection of stickers. Once you download the stickers, head back to Navstar and then you can select any sticker for your buttons. Let's go with this first collection. I will choose this one for the recent button. Then tap on home button and select the sticker. Then we have the back button. And then the close keyboard button. Okay, once we are done with the icons, we can save the configuration. But if you look at the bottom, we have two more tabs. Let's go to the button layout. In here, we can change the alignment of the buttons and also we can add a new button. So if I click on add button, a list will open and I can select from that list. Let's use that open notification panel button and if you tap and hold on to that, we can also change the position of the button. Let's add another one. I will go with this one. Alright, last thing is the background color. Let's go to the tab and here we can select the color for our nav bar background. Now let's go back to the icon section and select sticker for the other two icons as well. And then hit save. Now in the configuration tab, we can see our configurations at the end of the list. Tap on it and our brand new navigation bar is activated. Alright, now in advanced options, we can also activate the button to show and hide our nav bar. Turn that on and we can see a little dot on the left side of our navigation bar. Now if I double tap on it, the nav bar will auto hide. Just swipe up from the bottom to reveal it again and if you want to lock it to its position again, just double tap on the dot and it will be locked into its position. The second option is to always show nav bar on the home screen. So when this option is on, navigation bar will be shown at the home screen even if it is hidden on the other screens. Alright, that's all about navigation buttons. Now let's move on to the swipe gestures. Tap on swipe gestures tab in the bottom and turn that on. Again, it will ask to change the settings to swipe gestures. Go ahead and change the navigation bar to swipe gestures. Now turn it on and we can see the settings. First we have the transparent hint, at the bottom middle of the screen we can see the hint and if we turn this option on we can see the hint is not taking any additional space on the screen. Next we have the option to allow back gestures in full screen mode like when we are playing games or watching movies we will still be able to use our back gestures. Next up we can change the gesture sensitivity. So if I change the level you can see the blue color from side of the screen which shows us that how much area it will take for the gestures to work. So set it according to your choice. Last we have the gesture handle option, in here we can change the handle width, transparency and color of the handle. So you can just leave it as grey or select any other color according to your choice. And at the end we can just reset all of the settings and take it back to default one. Alright that's all about it, let me know about your customized setup. If you have any questions you can leave a comment down below or join my discord channel. The link will be in the description. I hope you have already subscribed to leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe and I will see you in the next one.